So again, this is an animation. We've to mess this patient. Of course, we've sterilely prepped this patient to mess them. We have a small little access site. Um, the energy is going from the internal probe up to the external probe, heating the FSN, creating an immediate tightening right away. But we're also emulsifying and melting fat at the same time. And then we're going to follow this up by, and then of course, applying heat to the dermis, which is going to create that tissue reaction that we want of contraction. We emulsify this fat, and ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to use liposuction to suck out the emulsified fat. So we get a debulking effect, um, a contouring effect, and then ultimately skin tightening. So what does that mean? Let me show you some results. So mind you, this is body tight plus lipo. So all these patients got liposuction plus body tight or skin tightening. Obviously a crazy good result from a procedure that's performed in the office. So another one, you can see how improved kind of the pendulous hang is with liposuction plus body tight. This is a 60-year-old patient, uh, a 60, 60, 60 years old in my office. She did body tight for herself as a 60-year-old, uh, her birthday present. I think she got an amazing result, and judging by the underwear that she chose to wear for final photo, she thinks she got an amazing result as well, right? <laughs> Uh, um, um, this is a chip shot body type right now. This is before we had the Evolve. I would probably, on the left, that patient's super simple. I'd probably just do Evolve on that patient uh, because I could get to the same result without having to do the two mass and liposuction. But you can see the interval change and how um, um, great these patients. This is another body type, just more athletic appearing, some carbs here. Same. more body tight with liposuction. This is before. This is day three. This is uh, three weeks, and this is six months. Body tight plus lipo on kind of these flanks, bra rolls. Very difficult to clear. This crease, this crease in the skin tends to be permanent. And before body tight, I would tell my patients, like, hey, that crease is going to persist. I can improve the fullness with liposuction, but you're always going to have that crease. Well, now with subcision because of body tight and then dermal tightening, we can almost erase that. Same thing, almost erase that and erase those creases, which classically were very difficult for me to treat. Arms do exceptionally well. Um, with body tight, my uh, brachioplasty game has totally changed. I'm doing far, far less traditional excisional brachioplasty. Um, the scars are pretty ugly for brachioplasty. It's a cut from the armpit all the way to the elbow. And I liposuction and cut out skin. Well, now I tell my patients, hey, if I can make a 50% improvement in this vertical hang, in this hangy skin, and I show them, I have them hold their arm, I show them what 50% improvement is. If I can make a 50% improvement with an office procedure with minimal downtime, or, and I show them what a surgical result is, with a cut that goes from your armpit to your elbow, which one would you prefer? They're like, give me the 50% version. And then you start showing them before and after. So of course people are picking this all day long compared to brachioplasty. And again, these results, results are very uh, easy to reproduce and very consistent. We get them time and time and time again. 